Hey, what is going on guys? John here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video here, we're going to be talking about Xpeng and if you guys don't know what that is, it's a Chinese company. I'm not going to get too in depth with it. Uh, you guys can scroll back in my playlist and you'll see me talking all about that vehicle. All right, so the company just recently announced the Xpeng G9 and that car is going to be a special car. It's going to be comparable to a Porsches out there. That's literally what the marketing manager has been touting. It's comparable to Porsches out there. So that really gives you guys a perspective of how high standard they are when they're creating this vehicle. Now for this video, we're not going to be talking about the G9 specifically and its physical appearances. We're going to be talking about the software and the hardware here that really pushes the ADAS system. So they've just announced a new ADAS system and this is specific to the G9 or at least starting with the G9 and it's going to be called XNGP and that stands for XPeng Navigate Guided Pilot and that just means that it's going to be on another level and open for future improvements. Now they haven't really said what's new from the regular NGP GP because the regular NGP has already been doing so much with the new releases of their newer cars. They do have the second generation NGP uh, on board. So that just means that the car can pretty much do everything and open for future development uh, with the hardware that's already in place. All right, so just to give you guys a brief overview of Navigation Guided Pilot, is their system uh, similar to FSD Beta? They are opening it up to roughly about 100 users at the moment and it's definitely gonna grow as the safety score requirements drop down, but I do have a specific specific video on that. I'll drop it in the description below if you guys want to check it out or I'll have a pop-up banner right up top there. But honestly, it's really sick. It can do a lot of things a lot smoother than FSD beta right now, to be honest. I'm using FSD beta and it's a little jerky at times. It's getting better, but from the videos alone, NGP does so much better. One thing that makes NGP so much better in my perspective is that it can go into sub-levels of uh, parking lots so it can navigate by itself uh, sort of like a summon feature. And another good thing about that is it can find parking stalls without cars side by side to it and it pops up every single stall on the screen instead of what Tesla does where it just automatically pops up the parking button uh, whenever it's available. So like I said with NGP navigation guided pilot it's already so good there's so much to improve upon it. I don't know what the X NGP is all about but at the moment from this video here which I'll also drop in the description below uh, it shows that the car can do pretty much everything like lane changes overtaking and a lot more insane things like listening to honks from behind you, listening to people screaming, and it will react accordingly. That's just something that FSD can't really do right now in Teslas, but of course software updates and with the microphone outside, I'm sure it can probably do it in the future. So definitely there's going to be a lot of competition between the few companies right now, but XNGP is their new platform, and this is probably the build upon from the 2.0 version of NGP, which is excellent. Now one final thing here that makes XNGP stand out a little bit versus any of the other beta softwares of FSD is the fact that it can map out literally everything and I'm not talking about just cars and lanes and lights I'm talking about trees rails trails so it just looks like a virtual reality world of what you're seeing on the outside but on the screen and we'll definitely leave it up to you guys to just compare the two and see what it's all about there's definitely a lot of competition as well so that's really something for you guys to compare I know we live in America so there's really no perspective there's no testing but I do travel back there sometimes and I notice that the cars drive amazing so I know this video here should be dedicated to the G9, but I think even in their promotional video, they really highlighted the autonomy features rather than the car itself. So that's what I'm doing in this video as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. This is John once again. Peace out.